Even with a price increase, the Galaxy S24 Ultra proves its worth as one of the best phones, setting new records for a flagship phone in key areas such as battery life, screen brightness, and processing performance. Add to that the slew of helpful Galaxy AI features packaged with the phone, and it's a powerhouse that will actually save you on time. Look quick and you might not notice the design changes Samsung made to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Most notably, the new model ditches its predecessor's armor aluminum frame for a titanium one which bolsters durability and in this case leads to a lighter package as well. On paper, the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 8.22 ounce width doesn't seem like a tremendous difference over the S23 Ultra's 8.25 ounce weight, but the phone just feels less dense this time. Another change pertains to the end of an era for the series, its curved screen. I am on the fence about this change because the curved screen of past ultras gave the phone this sleek looking static. Instead, the S24 Ultra adopts a flat display that hugs the edge of the titanium frame. Samsung's reasoning for this change pertains to the S Pen, the flatter panel makes it less likely for the stylus to fall over the edge. But then again, I end up using a case with my older Carvia Galaxy S Ultra that prevents this such thing from happening. The last and subtle change involves 42% slimmer bezels according to Samsung's math. I only see it with the bottom portion at the display since the rest of the bezels appear very similar to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. One of the disappointments that will probably go under the radar is how there is no significant change to the S Pen. I was really hoping for Samsung to add something new to the fold here, seeing that the S Pen is one of the features that makes the Ultra distinctively different from everything else. Overall, I don't love or hate the design, but at least there are far more color options to choose from versus other phones, like the titanium violet version of my review unit. On top of that, there are several cases at launch that sprinkle more utility to the phone, like the preview window of the S-View wallet case. Without question, the biggest controversy circling the Galaxy S24 Ultra centers around Samsung's decision to ditch the 10x optical zoom camera of the S23 Ultra for a 5x optical one. That one key spec will cause people to think the new camera setup is technically inferior, but bear in mind that Samsung trades in the optical range for a higher resolution sensor, a 50 megapixel sensor instead of a 10 megapixel one to be specific. The Galaxy S24 Ultra remains a formidable camera phone consisting of a main 200 megapixel camera boosting 60% larger pixels, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom, and that new 50 megapixel telephoto camera with a 5x optical zoom we mentioned above. That camera can still offer 10x zooms by taking a picture and then zooming in as the resolution drops to 12 megapixel. Samsung says that this approach on the S24 Ultra can deliver the same optical quality performance as its predecessor, which doesn't surprise me. We have seen this executed on other phones with excellent zooming results like iPhone 15's 2x telephoto zoom. Before I detail the new telephoto camera and whether Samsung made the wrong decision, I will explain how the phone other cameras perform under different situations along with side-by-side -side comparisons against the S23 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Starting with the main camera, I can't see much change over the S23 Ultra, details are plentiful, colors are vivid, and the S24 Ultra's HDR performance does nicely to even out the highlights and shadows. I'm perfectly fine with these results, but in the back of my mind, I was hoping for a wider separation from last year's model. Compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it comes down to personal preference. In the short of the outside auto forum, the iPhone's HDR performance is at peak display when I look how the wooden panels of the front doors pop up out more. The S24 Ultra also appears to have a colder color temperature as well. Here are some camera samples and you can see it.
Not only is the Galaxy S24 Ultra one of the most powerful phones ever created, but it's leading the way for flagships in the battery department. What's shocking here is that Samsung keeps the same 5000mAh battery as before, which means that the differentiating factor here is in the improved power efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. I consider myself a power user especially when I put in some decent times throughout the day playing games on my phone. That's why I am overjoyed that the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the juice to get me through a solid workday without the need of topping up at some point. In our battery benchmark testing, the Galaxy S24 Ultra lasts 16 hours and 45 minutes, which is nearly 3.5 hours longer than the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The only other flagship rival that comes close to matching its endurance is the iPhone 15 Pro Max's time of 14 hours and 2 seconds. As of this reviewing, the Galaxy S24 Ultra finds itself in the top 3 of our best phone battery life list topped only by two gaming phones especially geared toward long play sessions. I am stoked about the battery life boosts because the Galaxy S24 Ultra's wired and wireless charging speeds haven't changed from previous models. We are still getting 45 watt wired charging which manages to charge the phone to 71% in 30 minutes. That's technically better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 41% with a 20 watt Apple charger, but it would have been better for Samsung to upgrade this feature and maybe give the 15 watt wireless charging speed a boost too. Samsung has paid the most attention to Galaxy AI on the new S24 phones, while One UI 6.1 running on top of Android 14 only gets a few minor visual changes, namely its new AI generated wallpapers. There is still an incredible set of tools that cater to productivity, but I was hoping to see more improvements directed towards the S Pen and Samsung DeX. It's a big missed opportunity in my opinion because these are two features that made the Galaxy Ultra series unique among flagships. I still use the S Pen for navigating around the using it's as a hover tool in Chrome, while DeX continues to be my backup when I happen to leave my laptop at work. I would have loved to see Galaxy AI features extended to DeX or Aspen somehow. Despite this, the One UI software still has everything I need to get work done. It might not be the most elegant looking interface, but at least it has more functionality than the average phone. Samsung also promises 7 years of security updates and 7 years of OS updates, which matches the same generous support found with the Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. There is a lot to say about how Samsung's approach to artificial intelligence with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. From my experience, the Galaxy AI capabilities are fairly intuitive to use and save me a lot of time exactly what AI is supposed to do for us. Features such as circle to search, generative edit, instant slow-mo, and note assist all feel polished, while others such as live translate could benefit from more machine learning. Regardless, the Galaxy S24 Ultra proves that AI is here for the long haul. Yet, I am a little disappointed that the Galaxy S24 Ultra camera performance doesn't have the same dramatic improvement I have seen from past updates. Samsung's choice to drop the 10x optical camera for a 5x one is the most glaring and controversial change, a downgrade I hope doesn't happen ever again. But despite this, the S24 Ultra has marked improvements to its processing power and battery life, two key areas I look at with any phone. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is not just a better, it sets the benchmark for all other phone releases in 2024. Knowing that, the increase in price to US$1299 does complicate matters a bit given that I feel the majority of its AI features are practical, combined with its performance and battery gains, it's still worth getting the Galaxy S24 Ultra if you are in the market for a super phone or upgrading from a handset that's a few years older. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.